How y'all doing? And thanks for tuning in to Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, trucks, wheelchairs, jet skis, boats, uh, motorcycles, and we do some accent lighting too. You'll see once in a while on our channel some cool stuff like this. What are you looking at right here? Well, it is a 2019 F350 single cab, eight foot bed, dually. It's a big boy. She went on a little trip, got some Kelderman Air Ride put on, got some 10 lug conversion wheels. It's a big boy. So uh, we wanted to accent the wheel wells here for this particular client. Truck's going to head over to a truck show. Definitely wanted to show off the undercarriage. So let me show you around what we did. I know, I know. Shame on me because it's dirty. I just don't have a facility close that I can wash this thing in, to be honest. So I'm going to have to take it to a hand wash or something. Um, but it'll get a full detail before the truck show. Of course, it arrived in this condition. Not my fault. So we put two rock lights in every wheel. It's going to highlight that Fox uh, shock and the Kelderman air ride suspension that's all bolted up underneath there. Suspension's been on the truck for a little while, working its joy and making everything happy. And we just wanted to show it off a little bit now. Back end of the truck, not quite as impressive as the front. Don't get to see so much, but you do see the Fox shocks there and the air ride in the airbag and lights up the top of both tires just very nicely. And uh, as I said, we just put two rock lights in each wheel. It was a fairly simple procedure. Alrighty, so around back of this, what we decided to go with was our SS3 floodlights. We wanted a little bit more light for backing up when uh, they're hooking up to this gigantic hitch. Jeez, you ever see a hitch like that? Good Lord, look at that thing. You can pull a house down with that, I'm sure. I mean, I got that I got that thing on sale at Walmart for twenty nine ninety five. Came with a free case of beer. Anyways, back to the light. We got that uh, Diode Dynamics Flood Pattern SS3. It's an all-around brute of a light. Real great, high-quality light. That's on one of the auxiliary switches, uh, so he can turn it on whenever he likes. And uh, we just mounted it with a 5 16 bolt. We drill and tap the hitch, flip the bracket around, and mount it right to the hitch with a 5 16 lock washer and bolt and uh, flat washer. If you want to drill through the hitch and use the supplied hardware, you could do that too. But uh, I don't think a 5 16 bolt is going to affect this hitch in any way. And as you can see, it puts the lights nice and right there where you need them. I particularly like this because it also keeps them a little bit tucked back from the bumper. They, they're really not protruding any further than the bumper, and uh, they look nice when they're mounted there. You can see here how they kind of blend in. The lens isn't really tinted, but it does have a small smoke to it, uh, so it kind of fades away and looks real nice. By the way, look at that rear end, right? Man, that's a nice booty. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give me a dually one of these days. I don't have any earthly use for it yet, but... I sure do want one every time one's here in the shop. All right, guys, I know. I can hear you screaming already. Where did you mount the rock lights? Show us the rock lights. It's really simple. Um, the, the, where we mounted them is nothing extravagant. I'll show you. All right, bear with me. I'm holding the camera. It's going to get a shaky ride. But we're going to go underneath here and show you. That's where we were able to get them. We mounted them right in that last set of ribs on uh, both sides of you. Kind of look up like that. That's where they're mounted. And on a dually truck uh, or a non-dually, you can drill through there and the wiring will actually come out inside the inner fender, which we ran down here and then back along the frame and forward. So uh, that's the spread that we were getting out of those two right there. And uh, it lights up nice. It came out, you know, light, lit up the tire, as you can see. I had to take the cover off my phone so it would produce a better picture for you. Actually, you had to take this off of the camera too. This was screwing with the film and uh, making my flash unable to be focused. So, just so you guys know, I'm always looking out for you. Alrighty, now up in the front, the wheel well's a little different. So what we did is we found a nice smooth spot right here in the felt fender liner. And that spot is right here and right here. Looks like about 1 and 11 maybe. And uh, it's right on the other side of that bolt. And we were able, again, to run that wiring right up in the fender, no problem. But I think with two lights right there on that little bit of an angle right here, it kind of shines down nicely like that. And again, caught the top of the tire. It worked out very well. Uh, both of these accessories just powered off the factory auxiliary switches. Nothing fancy there. Show you a little bit more of that suspension. If you have never seen a Kelderman, it's pretty impressive. As I said, been on the truck for a little while already, uh, but tested and tuned and working great. So... I'll throw a link in the description for the stuff that we have here at Wicked Warnings. Those Diode uh, Dynamics SS3 lights, the rock lights. Remember, we are your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, wheelchairs, SUVs, jet skis, boats, motorcycles, and 2019 F350 Big Boy Kelderman air ride trucks like this. Hopefully you got one. You got a Kelderman? Post a picture, post a comment, link a video. 
Do something. Interact with the channel, man. Come on. If you're still watching and you haven't dropped a comment yet, drop a comment. Let me know what's up. And uh, somebody will reply to you. I swear. Sooner or later, we will reply. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. So my web team tells me I got to put my face on camera more. I don't know why anybody would want to see my face or anything about me. But here I am. I'm a real person. There's that truck. We just watched it. See you guys later.